cuties welcome back again to my channel okay so in today's video i want to share with you guys how i edit my vlog videos in imovie okay so two years ago my husband bought me this macbook pro here this makes my life so easy when it comes to my editing that's basically what i've been using so i bought this case here um just to you know cover it because the the, the the body is silver okay so today i don't want to share with you guys how i edit my vlog videos in imovie okay so if you want to see that then keep watching where you enjoy imovie is when you have macbook that is where you enjoy imovie like the things of um transition effects many more voice changing um splite and many more many of those things so you cannot even enjoy it with your phone but you can enjoy it with your macbook okay so let's dive into what we are going to be doing so let me first of all switch on my recording okay so i'm gonna in uh, record my entire screen so that you guys will see because um, I don't have anything that I'm hiding okay so okay I'm start I've started recording I think so the next the first thing I'm gonna do is to go with my iMovie so I've been using iMovie for a very long time when I when it comes to my vlog I use iMovie to edit my vlog okay I also sometimes use it to edit my normal you know sit down talk or makeup tutorial but that would be if i'm not color grading but when i was using my sony a5000 i don't color grade okay so i use imovie all the tutorial or all, all my editing i use imovie so this is plus um i'm gonna press it here click the movie so when you click this it brings you to this page here so what you have to do is there is this icon here then you click that icon it will take you to where all your files are okay so if that makes a little bit of sense so here you can now select the movie you really want to edit okay so this mvi is recorded with my Canon 250D, okay, my big my DSLR camera. So this TRS was recorded with my um, my uh, Canon G7X Mark II, I think. Yes. So I'm gonna select it, but you know you need to select it because if you don't select it, I'm going to import this one. But you can as well as you know import all of them depending on what you want okay but sometimes if i didn't start from the bottom sometimes i find it difficult to import all of them so that's why i'm importing it one by one so you are going to enjoy so the first thing i do is that after i see i have imported all the videos so i like to click out then the first thing i like to do is to drag and drop it here on my timeline so it's something it's similar to final cut pro but i've downloaded final cut pro about two times like guys i don't know how to edit with it like i know how to split but i don't know how to delete it's like it has to do with this um the keyboard something like that because i've tried to do that with my mouse with my hand but it's not working okay so i just see it as something very difficult for me so that's why i went i go with femora and imovie so that's what i'm editing with so when you import it in your timeline so this is basically how it's gonna do so if you are not into color grading this will be perfect fine perfectly well for you so it's very very easy it's just for you to listen to what you want to edit listening to the voice message or okay let me follow this in the right step so this is the first video i'm gonna put it here so this is the second video here 
so these are the vlogs that i recorded some days ago and this is the third vlog here so because this quality is fine by me or if i'm not into color grading but this one is a little bit bright so what i'm going to do is to click here this is color correction okay so it will tell you this things here will tell you what to do and what not to do and how to do them okay if that makes sense so if i'm touching this one it says adjust brightness so i'm gonna take the brightness down then I, as you can see here you will see that the brightness has adjusted okay so because it's too bright because i filmed it using my ring light because the ring light was too much so you see now the brightness has adjusted and i don't think i have anything again to color touch so i'm gonna leave it then if i want to like crop it or maybe i want to put um came born then i can you know put it here okay so raise this up a little bit then this is it when you are playing it this is how it's gonna be so i'm trying to mount my phone i'm trying to mount my phone so it will zoom if it's a little bit for example let me do the can can bone here let me split let me do it in this very portion so if you do it there if it's um it's very small like this so you need if you want to do kenny bone you need to start from the ending okay like kenny bone is something like also adding a keyframe i think adding keyframe so what i want to do is that i put it here then I add my Kenny bone here. Maybe I want to zoom it or some. I talk something, you know, very bad, and I want people to, you know, like zoom it and all of that. So this is how it it is. I'll look for another thing to do. Yes. So so this is how I do my Kenny bone, like cut it the portion where i talk something funny or maybe where i want people like to know just to zoom myself then i zoom it with kenny bone in my iMovie so the next thing i do again is to if i see that i don't have a lot of things to cut like to splice or to correct it's just for me to join the whole videos and just edit it so what i like to do is that i come here you will see here you see transaction up here then i go to transaction so if it's where i want it to fade or where i want it to you know do whatever transition i want it to be then i will just okay put this transition right here in the middle of the end of the one of the other video okay if there are two different videos then i'll put it in the middle of the two different videos so this is basically how it will look like when this one finish let me show you guys yes. I'm trying to. so you see it may it paves away and the other one starts again so if I don't want to do it like this maybe for here I want to change it uh, or maybe you know maybe I don't like the thing or I want to put background and all of that then I go to background so if you if you do something like green skin green screen recording or any other thing so you basically need to just put the green screen video and over here you choose your background and all of that so one thing about iMovie is that I like it so much because it's very very easy for me to do and um, maybe I want to put something like music in my video okay so I'll just you know like oh I like this let me first of all play it So um, I think I don't have music here. Okay, I have music here. Maybe I wanna play this one for you guys to see. So you see here. 
so i'll just you know drag and drop maybe i listen to the music and i like it then i'll drag it here i'll drag it like this and drop it under here then when you are watching my video it will start playing like this I'm sorry that that was very nice. So here, if I wanna, if I want the uh, sound to be high, I can as well as put it high like this, or leave it like as it is, hundred percent. But when I want to lower it for the music not to disturb anybody, so I I go ahead to lower it. Then I play it. You see that? You I'm sorry hear, that that was very nice my face so you see you will hear a lot of my voice than the music but if i want to leave the music to 100 percent then i'll just leave it like that and it will be playing and you will not be hearing a lot of the things i'm saying on in the video so if you want a title then maybe you want to write something in the video maybe you forgot to say something in that particular video and you want to write it on the screen for people to see what you mean or where you need something something like that maybe you want to write your name so you just have to go to this place title then what you need to do is just to you know maybe as a creator you have a lot of ideas like the you know the kind of idea that will be in your head the kind of idea that you want this this is how you want the title to be if i'm making any sense to you guys so if you want it to be lower you want it to be center you want it to any way you want it to be so they have all different types of title okay in here so you what you need to do is just you see this one here you if you want it you want this one in the middle anyone you want so let me take this one this one is the lower one you drag it and drop it here then when you drag it and drop it you just need to click so when you click or oh, you double click it then it will bring it out like edit okay i just mistakenly edit it delete it so you just drag and drop it um click the mouse like this then you start typing beauty by so this is how you do it then when you finish typing you click return okay so you don't so you click return but if you click return it will show you like maybe you should swipe wipe it or something like that then anything you show you just make sure that you know you don't delete it so if somebody is watching your video and they play it to that place then you will see that your name or whatever you write will just appear so that's basically all i do for my vlog i don't do so much for my vlog except if the lighting or if the environment or anything or whatever except if that place is um is too bright okay then i will go ahead to reduce the lightning then if after that um if i want to you know like maybe for example this video here Maybe I want to, you know, um, put another video on top. Then I'll drag this one and drop it on top of here. Then you'll be seeing only this one. So this is basically how I I don't do a lot of things on my vlog. Why? Because what? Why is called vlog? You don't need to. Even if you do error, you need to put it there. Okay? It's, it makes it fun. Like I said, when I put error, maybe I speak wrong English. I just, you know, like make it fun. I just use my Ken bone to zoom it for people to you know zoom it out for people or zoom in, I don't know for for people to see how it is and for people to know why is that maybe I did an error or something oh my god okay so something like that so that's basically all I do for my vlog I just reduce the brightness and iMovie is also good when it comes to color grading but I don't like to color grade with iMovie okay then after I finish this here then i'm gonna import it okay so how do i import it i'll go to this share arrow here and you'll see a lot of things this one is written 
um, YouTube and Facebook if you want to share it with you for your YouTube and Facebook or you want to send it to email to someone and you want to send you know, save your current frame then if you want to export it then you export it into your phone so this is how so this is how it's gonna do it when you touch your pad in there it will start playing okay so then here you need to write the title like okay for example i'm gonna write my title vlog you just write your vlog okay so the next one this is tag tag iMovie you can add tag of your choice so the format how you, you want your video to be downloaded how you want your video to be exported then you will choose video and audio which means you need the audio then audio only which means you don't need the video okay so because it's something that i explained i'm gonna choose video and audio so your resolution so my they have 1080p okay 1080p but I don't know why it's like my 70 my Canon G7X Mark II doesn't have such okay so they are showing me the highest frame uh, frame rate or something like that which is 720p but I will set it and correct it in my G7X so if another one again is the quality so if you want the quality to be low if you want the quality to be medium if you want the quality to be high so for me i like the quad the quality to be the best like the best when somebody's watching it there will be no you know this look or there is i don't know if you guys are understanding me at all so i like to download my video in the best like which is progress okay so the compress the compress is fast why i choose fast is here you can see better quality but i like fast fast makes it to download okay fast okay so the next one i do is nest so this nest i'll choose save as my movie for and another one will say download so this place where when you choose when you write the name so the name you write is exactly the name is gonna be in your video okay like when you upload it on your youtube that's basically the name is gonna be but if you don't write the name of it then it's not gonna have any name but if it's your phone it will just download as soon as you click download i think export it will start downloading and something like that or i think it will also show you something youtube but I'll, maybe i'll do a tutorial about it so another thing again is the name you write it is the same name when you upload it on your youtube that's the, the name that is gonna appear if you like you can still change it but the file name of your video is gonna have the name right before downloading it so if i have it in my imovie 4 then i want it to download in my download okay you can choose anywhere you want to save it in your mac okay so i have chinese macbook pro i don't want to save it there the next thing i do is to click save so you look this round white something you see shows show activity now it started downloading so if you click it it will show you exporting my movie right in my movie.mov so that is all you do vlog if you have a lot of things to cut you just cut it and join all of them together with whichever transition you want to use so you just you know do it download it and upload it and here boom it's already downloaded and now i'll get a notification telling me that my iMovie is downloaded so that's basically all i do i download my videos and all of that so if you all enjoy watching this video please don't forget to subscribe in the subscribe button and i'll see you all in my next video bye bye